Okay, it's time for the, all the puppies to get their first vaccination. This is seven and one. Uh, one shot gives them uh, vaccination against seven different things. And we got everything all kind of lined up here in order for each one. We got their records ready to go. And this, if you do it like a production line like this, it makes it a little bit easier. Sam might give us a problem here fessing with her puppy, so we might have to shut her up for a minute so she doesn't get in the way. <clears throat> the easiest time to do this is when the puppies are either just waking up or just going to sleep and they're kind of lethargic and they're not going to be too wiggly because you don't want them wiggling a bunch and uh, getting in your way. You know, when you give them the needle, you don't want them twisting on you and that needle twisting or breaking or hurting inside. So. <clears throat> We've already got one filled up and ready to go. When you do this, sometimes it's easy to have two people. Somebody can hold the back end of the puppy so it doesn't wiggle when he gets shot. But generally when you lift up their scruff of their neck, and you want to do it here, just subterraneous under, under the skin, uh, just lift it up just enough to give them a little poop, and you do it kind of quick, and a lot of times they won't even feel it. Why don't you hold on to them just in case. So just give them a little... And no fuss, no bother to give them a little bit of a uh, rub on the neck, trying to get that stuff to squish around a little bit. And there's one little vaccination done. Jake's got his little shot. This is little Jake. And he's a really nice little puppy. Alright. Okay, Cooper. Just lift the scruff up, and that leaves a little pocket kind of back in behind the ears here. Just give him a little, little poke. And there you go. And there's one more little puppy done. Two more. <clears throat> yeah, now each of these bottles comes with a uh, peel off sticker that gives the uh, vaccination batch number and the date of expiration. And then we always like to take these stickers and put them in with on the vaccination record. As it, and mark the date when they actually gave them a shot. A lot of times you take them to the vet and they'll want to give you a, um, say, oh yeah, readers say, they say they give them a shot, but they don't. So you'll have proof with that we've actually given them their vaccination so they won't charge you to do it again. And um, if you're bringing the puppies back to us, we'll give them all their um, puppy vaccinations for free. If you live close enough where that's, it makes it economic for you to do that. If you live close to where your vet is or something, then Maybe, you know, maybe your travel time isn't worth it, you can just go to your vet. But they'll typically charge anywhere from $35 to $45 for an office visit, plus uh, $18 to $20 for the vaccination, and uh, we'll give it to you for free if you bring the puppies back. The only one we can't do is uh, rabies. You have to actually, in Virginia, you have to have that, that has to be done by a, a licensed veterinarian. Uh, we've given our dogs uh, our own vaccination shots. It's just the law, and I think part of it, it has to do with uh, when the vet does that, they send a little copy of the paper in to the county, uh, and then the county can keep track of how many dogs there are, and they will send you your uh, time for your license and pay for your license each, each year. So I think it's part of that. That's the reason why they do that. Okay, and now we got Barkley. He's... One more little puppy. You ready, Barkley? Okay, okay, we got little Barkley here. He's a cute little guy. We're going to give you a little close-up on his, uh, him getting his shot. Then we get to make sure we get all those little air bubbles out. And just again, just kind of pinch the neck, skin, and, ra and, and raise it up. And then that gives you like a little pocket little pocket behind here to, to go into because uh, you want to just you know, just go into the skin and give it to him like just under the skin that's all you need to do so I'm gonna lift up the skin make the pocket give him a quick little jab push it in and boom done no fuss no fuss we use a uh, brand new syringe for each uh, dog um, that way if there's any problems one has something, you don't, you're not transferring anything around. Which 
pancake. She's waiting for her shot. So we're going to get all these guys lined up and ready to go here so we can do a little production line. Why it's uh... Get all the air bubbles out. Get it up to where you got a little coming out the top. And we're ready for another little puppy to get a shot. Who's this? This is Abby. Yes, that's going to be Abby in a minute. Here's Abby. Stay to little girl. Every once in a while you get one's going to fuss a bunch. She kind of wiggly. I'm going to wait till the girl will hold his. I'll be around there a little bit. Okay. She's trying to get away. She's pretty active. Huh? Yep. If you're active like that, you got to watch out. <laughs> hey, you. You ready for your shot? Are you ready for your shot? Yes, this is your first one. Where's her bottle? It's right here. Get, don't worry about that. Hold her for a minute. Okay, lift up the scruff, get that spot there. Rub it around a little bit, and there's another one. What you do is you, you pull in the, uh, get some air in your uh, syringe, get the parvo one, that's the liquid one. So I don't know if you can read that or not, it's parvo. And just insert that right in the center of your little pad, push it in, that, that charges it, gives us some liquid, I mean get some pressure inside your little vessel, pull it down to where the tip of the needle is just barely uh, coming out of there, and then you can let go, it'll, it'll just self fill itself up. Okay. Now the other one has the dry in it, this is Actually, uh, it's got a little vacuum in it, so when you stick the needle in here, it'll actually go right in by it, suck it in by itself. A lot of times, Whoop, there it goes. Suck it right in, and you can take that, shake it all up, get it all mixed together. Gonna pressurize it this time so the liquid will be able to come out easier. And there we go. Right, and you want to get that liquid out, I mean the air bubbles out of the liquid. Okay, and who we got here? This is Rose. We've got Rose. Come on over a little closer, Rose. So we can get you the picture. <laughs> Pull right off her shoulders. <laughs> Look awful. Okay. Here's little Rose. Okay, now it's gonna again just pinch kind of behind the ears or on the neck. Just get a big bunch of that skin to pull up. It gives you that little pocket right there. You can just poke that needle in real gentle. Give it a quick jab. the last little puppy. This is a little Rose and she just got a little shot. After you uh, get ready to give your, your dog your shot, these labels will peel off and then you can paste them right on into the their record and you just check off uh, the date and 
what the vaccinations cover, as you can see here. And all, all of our puppies, you get their vaccination records with them or any health records that we have, and anything we've done to them. So that gives you that. Now after their shot, see we, they're getting a little sleepy. Not from the shot, but just because we picked a good time to give, it, give them their shot, so they were a little kind of lay back, not fussing any. And this is Sam and Bess's puppies, both together. They're, um, let's see, they're five, five weeks old now, and five and six weeks old. And they can be, we can mix them together. The mamas that used to fuss and fight with each other about over their puppies, don't get near my puppy. Each one of them will go in there, and they'll nurse the whole batch sometimes. It doesn't make any difference. Either one will go in. She's joining the others. And everybody's just going to jump up in their bed and take a little nap after they got their vaccinations. Night night little puppies.